Check it out. Guess what we making today? What are we making, Maria? We making us some Czech pastries. I don't know why I'm gangsta. Um, I am half Czech. Gee, what a clot she is, is a fruit pastry that is delicious. And also the meat pastry, which is a kolbashnik. Okay, so we're gonna make both. Kolbashnik. 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 Yes. <laughs> this week, check it out. Next week. Just Hispanic culture. I don't make the jokes. She makes the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I at the jokes. <laughs> let's get on rolling. Let's get on rolling. Okay. So we need two cups of milk. We need half a cup of oil and half a cup of sugar. And you're gonna mix these all in the saucepan and bring it to a boil. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? That's my Pauline accent. You bring out the butter, that accent comes out. I was gonna go grab some butter. I was like, oh, I'll do things to that butter. <laughs> we already saw that in that other episode. We don't want to see that again. You need room temperature butter? I got you. I can make it room temperature. <laughs> take us so long to get to Texas. It would take us like 16 hours. And so we'd be in the car for like 16 hours. I feel like it was four o'clock in the morning, probably only like 11 or 12. Okay. Um, and we would like get out of the car. And my sweet grandmother would have gotten the kolaches out and ready just for us Aww. to like, and let us like heat those up. And um, it's like the highlight of, I mean, oh, my grandparents kolaches, were too obviously, but like, Yikes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> like kolaches, like she just came for the food. I'm just here for the food, y'all. Okay, oh, I got my oh mustache. I'm ready to go back. <laughs> that was a good story. <laughs> <laughs> good story at the end. It's That's boiling. a boiling. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come show you guys. I'm gonna show it's the people. Boiling. So I'm gonna keep kind of like stirring it for just a minute so that it doesn't get chunky. So once that's almost full, you're gonna mix some yeast and warm water together and then mix that in. Um, but we'll give that a few minutes to cool. So. <laughs> oh, we're recording stuff. <laughs> what does lukewarm mean? It's not like a hot, hot summer day. <laughs> I think it was our cinnamon roll recipe that yeah, I had a crisis on the floor. Yeah, she she was she was chilling out on the floor, yeah. and um, we were trying to figure out what lukewarm meant so that you don't kill your yeast. Well, Apparently, it's not a hot hot summer day. Four and a half teaspoons of fast <laughs> rising yeast, and you're going to put that in there and let it go. You kind of mix it a little bit, and then you just let it like. What was that? After you stir it, it goes what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we still had a hot, hot summer day. Oh, I think those are the ones that go under. She's stirring it up. Look at those mountainous peaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I let this activate for about uh, seven or eight minutes. And um, you're gonna mix this into the liquids. The liquids should be uh, just kind of cool or lukewarm. You don't want it to kill the yeast. And then I'm going to transfer this to the big bowl so that we can start adding flour. Heated the oven and I'm gonna turn that off now just so that it's kind of warm in there so that it gives the yeast a good environment to activate. I don't know what's happening behind me y'all. <laughs> okay so two and a half cups flour. 
So you're gonna stir this, and it should resemble like a cake batter by the end. Oh, you really can't see me. I'm just gonna okay, squat I... down. Yeah, it's okay if it's a little bit lumpy, you wanna try to get out the big ones, but it's okay if there's a few. Um, I preheated the oven, um, and then I turned it off. So I preheated it to 200 and then turned it off so that it's a little bit warm in there. And then I'm going to put it in there and let it rise until it has doubled in size. Okay, it rose for an undisclosed amount of time. <laughs> oh, it's like rice it's like pudding. Like bear's belly. A teaspoon of baking powder. And put it right in. Baking soda. A teaspoon. I think a teaspoon of salt. I gotta do math. Uh oh. You don't want too much salt. Yes. Listen to the words of Paul. <laughs> Total, you need like five or six cups of flour. So we added two and a half earlier. And so we're going to start with two and a half now. See kind of how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to stir this. You still have an egg that you're going to add here in just a second, but I'm going to stir this together first. We got a little helper down here. Yeah. Off. Hey. That's right. That's right, boy. You're going to crack your leg. Whoa. Don't trip over the dog. Like, what texture are we looking for? I'll know it when I see it. Oh. Y'all just gotta have ESP, okay? It's a ball. It should be soft, but not too firm. What she said. <laughs> I'm gonna let that get a little bit warmed for a minute, and I'm gonna turn it off, and then I'm gonna put it back in, and you let it rise for one hour. Now, I okay. oiled up my hands. Look at that fluffy dough. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so she goes, Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, she's spraying her face now. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it's, it's what her Sunscreen. moisturizer. Moisturizer. Um, tanning it's oil. It's all about the vegetable, the vegetable oil straight oil. on the face. Ooh, this makes works. the nails real shiny. Oh, look at that shine. Um, okay, so what you're going to do, here is the important step, y'all. If you try to make this, do not forget. You can't see my face. Do not forget this step. Where is the camera? You're there. <laughs> Okay, so stop. lay out your parchment paper the size of the cookie sheet at this step, okay? And when you roll these little balls out to rise, you got to lay them out how they're going to sit on the... Why am I going British again? How they're going to sit on the... Mexican dancing in the background. Okay. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, Something um, about balls, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sentence again. Okay, cut, take three, four, something. <laughs> take four. Um, lay your parchment paper out ahead of time so that you don't have to transfer the dough balls once they have risen. You can just slip the um, metal sheet pan thing underneath it and just put it directly in that way you don't disturb the risen dough. You're gonna roll this into a golf ball. So, by the end of this, I guarantee you, hers will all be the same size and mine will be special. And you want to space them like two inches apart so that they don't get stuck together. Yes, I got you. Yours don't look super uneven. That first one just looks way bigger. <laughs> other than that, all the others. It's like a frog. It does, you are correct. <laughs> you should show the people the frog. <laughs> Lily's over here making frogs. I got some, some hot breath on my leg right now. It's kind of <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Special guest. 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 Special guest.
She's this the only is how adult. It's done, ladies and gentlemen. She's the, she's the youngest one here, and she's the only adult. Ice palace. I don't mind helping. I just oh, I got another one. That's my friend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Snowball fight. <laughs> the thing exposed. It's like a pig in a blanket. This is what you buy. It's pre-cooked. And we're gonna do this, okay? So you flatten it out. You put your sausage in the middle. <laughs> and then you're just gonna like, kind of squish it. Like a pig in the blanket. She's wrapping the ends. You want some water? No. Okay. Then you gotta flip it over and you gotta let them rise like this. Those look good. I'm excited for those. Okay. So then you repeat. Sausages around sausages are. Don't trust the sausage. Don't trust the sausage. That's the moral That's... of this week's show. That's... Don't trust the sausage. Never trust the sausage. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, so we have our kiboshniks. We're gonna let all of this rise and then we'll come back to you with the kolaches, which are gonna be the sweet ones. Cool. Watch me. <laughs> Alright, so these are rising. I just realized that, um, so we recently moved into a new apartment and there's a vent that blows directly. <laughs> So they weren't rising quickly. So I put one pan in a slightly heated oven, not very much. I like started to preheat it to 200 and then turned it off after a couple minutes. So it just got a little warm. Um, and then I shut that vent off. So while that's going, we are going to make the topping. I st 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 stuttered on that. So we have a uh, what did I say? Two tablespoons of butter, melted butter. You're gonna just ploop that in there. Ploop that in there. A teaspoon of cinnamon. A teaspoon of cinnamon. A cup of sugar. I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And another half teaspoon. The then topping is like my favorite part. That's the best part. It's so the cinnamon best part. Butter. It's half a teaspoon of vanilla, but here's the thing. I have a little special technique that I use. I do this. Y'all seen this? Oops. That's how I do that. She really likes vanilla. I, I do. Lattes, vanilla ice cream, vanilla. Turn away and slam the door. Two vanilla um, pastries. And then you also need half a cup of flour. Flour. We need some flour. So distant makes everything seem so control me. Marie has gonna get the flour. I'm just stirring it up. Okay, cool beans. I'm just gonna stir this thing right up. I'm gonna stir this sucker right up. Stir it up, stir it up. We always sing the plug it in song. Yeah, we do jingles. We do we a lot did. of jingles. No, oh, we, we bonded. Have we haven't told the people. We you want to hear our song? We're the only two people in the world that know this. I'm Ready? pretty convinced. Five, six, seven, eight. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Oh, right. 
Sarah. Sorry, I forgot the Yum Enigma. It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> I got too excited. We both know it. We, we bonded over that. We just like started seeing that one day and we're like, oh, you know, you know that one. I don't even use that. No, nah, neither one of us use it. No. <laughs> well, I have dogs. I don't know why you use it. <laughs> it's grumptious. This is their real test. Mm. 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 How we did, Marie Huff. It's good. I'm out of wine, guys. Well, now they know. Probably going to do this. That's better. Look at those. Those are better. <laughs> Go make the people dizzy. <laughs> first things first, we have our oven at 425 because now we've finally gotten through all of our rises, our three rises, and we're going to get to our putting them in the oven and actually baking them so we can eat some kolaches. And this week's instruments of choice. No! Play it. Oh, oh, this is a two person. This is, this is, it looks like I'm slicing your ear. <laughs> okay, so this is actually what we're using to kind of carve out the, can you see this one? Yeah. So you just gonna kind of very gently, because you don't want it to lose air, yes. make a little dip in the middle that you can put your Dab filling. Crabbits, no. A, a <laughs> what's, what's a little divot? Divot, a divot. I used to call like a little cranny a um, nibbit. A nibbit, I used nibbit. to call them nibbit. A divot and a nibbit, mine's a crater. So you're gonna do the apricot. You're gonna apricot. go bloopity bloop. Bloop. Loop. Apricot is probably my favorite flavor. <laughs> well, that's quite unfortunate. <laughs> it was hanging on for its dear life. <laughs> so we got some melted butter, and after we fill these, we're going to glaze them with glorious butter because butter, butter makes everything butter. butter. So yeah, you butter them before you put them in the oven and you butter them after you take them out of the oven. There's just a whole lot of butter. I just really want to get that butter all in there everywhere. Everything better with butter. That's what my mama always said. <laughs> Little wise good as she is, she don't need any extra thick butter. I'm gonna bring the people. You come with me, people. Shiny butter. And then you gotta come here. And I just use my fingers. You gonna take crumbs mm. off there? Oh, yes. Just... She just plopped a ton of that stuff on there because you want it to crisp up in the oven and be like a sugary mess on the top. Oh, yeah. Just, just coat yourself in. It's sugar. Now they go in the oven? Well, it's got to finish preheating. Oh. And here's the thing. It's, they're supposed to go in the oven for like 15 minutes, but I don't like mine overdone. So you just kind of have to watch them. Don't let them get too dark. The lighter is better. Um, we burnt one of the I, matches. They she were tried trash. to throw them out. Yeah, they were awful. They were fine. Um, no, they were not. They were fine. Um, anyways, I think I put mine in for like nine or 10 minutes. Wow. To be okay. honest. That's almost half. So, um, just check them. Bro, Check them. Check them. <laughs> Same dough. No. 
No, 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 no. He still looks outlined. I don't really know why. I guess I kind of looked outlined too. <laughs> <laughs> that was just how long we've been in quarantine. <laughs> That was the sound of the oven. Oh, oh. <laughs> the oven is ready! We're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes, but we're gonna check it. Oops. Um, what? <laughs> I'm like a little head on your shoulder. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to set the timer for 15 minutes and we are going to check them. Um, probably check. about nine minutes in. <laughs> They're so pretty. This reminds me of a scene in Land Before Time that always looked so good to me where there were like these baby dinosaurs up in a tree and like the mommy brought them each a little cherry. It was my favorite part. Also, I used Lily's ice cream spoon. Yes, she has her own ice cream spoon with her name on it. Lily's ice cream spoon. And I used that for the uh, cherry filling. So don't tell her. In for the bake. Then you're gonna get your butter. And you're gonna drizzle, drizzle, drizzle all the live long day. Mmm. Mmm. You're gonna put the kiboshniks in the oven. <laughs> oh, it's my kiboshnik! Alrighty, we're gonna try them. Dink it and sink it. Dink it. I, um, I already took a bite. <laughs> coronas. <laughs> Just try and give me the coronas. Um, yes, uh, savory. So the kiboshnik. Savory first. Eat your dinner first before your dessert. Did y'all hear my hip just crack? Yikes. Anyways. <laughs> Good. Those are delicious. The dough on the outside of that is good. Delicious. Okay, hold on. Can't burn the babies. Don't burn the babies. That's the oh. All right. And now we have our beautiful. What are these called? Kalachi. <laughs> we have our beautiful kalachis. Ready? Huh? Ready? Huh? Ready? Huh? Ready? You can sink it. <laughs> you can just funk it. I got oh. dope. <laughs> we ain't coordinated. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Apricot is my favorite flavor of kolache. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Fresh out of the oven is the way to go. Mm -hmm. That is the way to go. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. Yeah, kolaches don't last for very long. Like just out. So you either need to freeze them or eat them. Which I normally just eat them. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. In reaction to her, um, you have to eat them very quickly, so, you know, uh, they don't last very long. Okay, I moved the ones from here to there, though, so it was further away from the heat. Do you see all of those? There have only been three that have been eaten. Yo, guys, we need help. Like three plus one, so that's we four. We need help. <laughs> we are. So, I'm leaving them in the oven for about, um, just like five minutes or... So each, it's really not taking very long. I did lower the oven rack one, um, so that is helping. But you really don't want these too dark. Um, if you'll look at the top of that one, that's about the color you want for the kolaches and the kiboshniks. Um, just slightly golden brown. Those really got a little too dark, but I also put a lot of butter in the apricot kind of leaked. So they're not that bad, but I like them. Um, She's really Anyways. picky about the bake on these. They also yes. have like a crust on, like a slight crust, very, very slight crust. Yeah. And then they're super soft on the inside. 
that was my whole statement. Uh, we done did it. We done did it. We got our kiboshniks. Oh, thank and you. And our kalaches. <laughs> I said that real weird. Kalaches. Kalaches. <laughs> um, I was jamming out. I'm getting things like jam. <laughs> She went real hard with those uh, uh, puns. Yeah. 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 That's buns. Her jam. With the buns. That's her jam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop. <y> <laughs> <laughs> it had yeah. just crumbled apart, just like the <laughs> topping. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the pasties. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Lily got to get her hair just right. <laughs> It ain't working, guys. You flip your hair back and forth. You whip your hair back and forth. Good, it's getting any good and better than that. <laughs> Thank you, we're done. <laughs> so, oh, you almost lost a kaboshnik. Kaboshnik down. <laughs> you lost a kaboshnik. Thank you so much for watching. Um, catch us next week as Lily makes her blonde. Bye, guys. Vegetable oil, I just spray it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore.